Know that anger is built into all people, so as to be a weapon, which defends them from harm. However, when excessive, it becomes harmful as it clouds the intellect. When deficient, it is equally reprehensible and leads to cowardice. The best state is moderation, when anger is balanced under the command of the intellect. Know that the treatment of anger, and to bring it under control, is an obligation. In order to treat it, one must know the five causes of anger. One is pride. Two is vanity. Three is mockery. Four is blame and fault-finding. Five is greed. Treatment is a combination of knowledge and action, theoretical and practical. The theoretical treatment is to know that there is spiritual reward in suppressing anger. The practical treatment is to say, I seek refuge with God from the accursed Satan. If you were angered while standing, you should sit. If you were already sitting, you should lay on the ground. If you were still not calmed, you should purify yourself with cold water. Anger comes from the devil, and its nature is fire. So extinguish anger with water. Know that people are in different classes. One class is both hard to anger and hard to please. Another is easily angered and easily pleased. The worst people are those who are easily angered and difficult to please. And the best people are hard to anger and easy to please. Know that blessed character occurs when one swallows their anger by choice. However, if anger is suppressed by weakness in character, it ferments and becomes hatred. Therefore, hatred is the offspring of anger, and from it grandchildren are born, among which are violence, malicious joy, or schadenfreude, rejoicing in others' misfortune, harmful talk like backbiting, lying, and insulting, cutting off family ties and not repaying debts, and envy. Know that envy is the dislike of another's blessing and the desire for that blessing to disappear. However, if you simply desire to have that blessing for yourself, but do not wish for the other person to lose it, and do not dislike that the other person have it, it is not envy, but competition, and can be praiseworthy. Know that the remedy for envy also starts with the theoretical treatment. Understand that envy harms you and benefits the envied person. The envier is like a woman who throws a stone at her enemy. It misses and returns to hit her in the right eye and blind it. Her anger increases. Again, she throws harder, and it returns to strike her in the other eye and blind it. She throws again, and it returns to strike her on the head. She does this while her enemy is unharmed and who sees her and laughs. The practical remedy is to root out the causes of envy from one's heart. As mentioned earlier, envy is a byproduct of anger. So to remove envy from one's heart, one must address the cause of anger, whether it be pride, vanity, or any combination of causes. Know that there is no greater intimacy with God then doing good to the person who does evil to you. If that is too difficult, then at least forgive, for the virtue of forgiveness is great.